Okay, so this is the thing that I've been talking about in a couple of posts is um, there's this thing at Dollar, um, the 99 cent store. And you know, it's just one of those square things with flowers, but I thought, man, that's really ugly. It's very sparse, you can see the frame behind it. But then when I looked at it closer, I could see that you can just simply pull them, pull off. them off. And so I thought, oh, well, this is a really good value. Look at how many flowers that I can pull apart. Because each little square, I'm gonna pull it off. Each little square, you get four little flowers. So then I was just cutting this, and now I've got four flowers that I can poke in uh, all different places. Or you can keep it all together and have more of a fuller look. Like grandma's, like mom's. Name. Yeah, and then just stick it in there. So. Because that's what I have here. And if you notice, I have several of them. And I have used for a lot of flower arrangements. I'm looking around the room, but I don't know where they're at right now. That, well, there is some. Um, but, but we do have yeah, them. Yeah, that we've used them quite a bit. So I just want you guys to know that, you know, kind of look beyond what the item is. And in this case, it was a very ugly thing that I, I almost, you didn't know, buy. I didn't buy just because I didn't think it was nice looking. But just kind of look at it and say, hey, can I pull this apart and use these individually for like something? Like fillers. Yeah, it's perfect. Sometimes and for a buck, that's great. And we show how much we've actually used over here. Oh. We, we've used quite a bit for that many different flower rings, but we've used them a lot. We yeah. probably have already made... We probably put that in at least four or five different arrangements, mm -hmm. and we still have enough for another couple. Yeah. Because you don't want need to fill it up. You just need to put a little bit of accent like it is in here. Right, right. So, um, and then the vase that it's sitting in, that's actually something I got um, recently at Ross, and it's... Um, what is it? Like we were talking about we could put tea in it because it has... Like, like a little tea because it has a, a lid that uh, it seals up. Yeah, it's it's it's... What do you call it airtight <laughs> cheese yeah. yeah so you could but we thought okay let's just use it as a flower arrangement because i needed something for the table and inside it's that it's purple it's so pretty yeah oh yeah and the painted inside is purple yeah so and then the way we prop that little guy up is i just put a, a glass inside and mom put some um moss um, and that's so why I finished the whole bottom of this arrangement up with moss and there's a glass in there with that bunny setting on and that's how everything's put together. Nothing is anchored, nothing is glued, so we can take it all apart and reuse and repurpose. That's right. We are the queens of <laughs> repurposing. I'm like, how can I use this in a different way? <laughs> yeah, and you're going to see if you look carefully, I know it looks like we're spending a ton of money, but don't get me wrong, we do spend a ton of money, but we reuse, repurpose every single post we do almost on site. And I do try to go to the the more affordable stores like Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, or Ross. In Home Goods, um, is, Home Goods is pretty good too. Yeah. Um, but those are probably my go-to stores. Yeah. Um, all the other stores are like just, uh, it just kills me to, to spend the money on one item that I can, you know, possibly go and buy three, four items at another store, so... Well, uh, I think we're pretty well done, right, babe? Yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed my um, presentation, my presentation, my table. <laughs> and um, I do have another um, table that I'm going to put together. It's similar, but not the same. So you'll have to come back for that one. That's right. We have a lot of posts coming up to finish up this month. Yeah, and if you're not always already following, please consider following. And then also remember, we do have the new channel. It's Blossom Your Creativity. And a lot of this content is going to start going over there. Um, so we need our all of our followers on this channel to go over to the new channel. Because um, you don't want to miss out on the great content that we will be putting up over there. Eventually, it hasn't happened yet, but it will eventually, as soon as we get more of you guys to go over there and sign up, all the home and home decor and all of the DIYs will be in the new channel. Everything else will stay here for a while. So um, please go over. The sooner you go over, you don't have to watch any more grocery hauls and stuff if you want to see grocery hauls. Or, Pantry prepping. <laughs> and prepping Patrick. I can't pronounce it now. Or if you don't want to hear about saving money. <laughs> if so, you're just interested in home decor and DIYs and tablescapes, it's gonna then be, that's the channel for you. 
please go over and get yourselves over there. Because <laughs> the quicker you go over and sign up and start following it, the sooner all of the posts will be going over there. The only reason why we haven't moved it over yet, because what do we have? Like 41 about, followers. 40? Only. Come on, you guys. There's more than 41 family friends on this channel. We have 3,000. <laughs> get over there. That's all you want to see. Bye. Thank you so much, you guys. We really appreciate you, and we enjoy you coming by and seeing what we have to offer. Bye-bye.